Hello and welcome to the 2021 International Conference on Biological Engineering and Medical Science. My name is Ivo Gantchev and I teach at Queen Mary University of London. It is fantastic to see that so many scholars share our enthusiasm and have come together today to share their findings based on rigorous research with the academic community. We have contributions from a wide number of fields, which would be of value to both scholars and practitioners of bioengineering and medicine. In the past two years, um, all of us have shared the experience of going through a global pandemic, which has posed public health threats that uh, necessitate profound adjustments to our daily lives, including to the ways that we work, move around, and communicate. The conference that we are having today was originally booked to be organized in Stanford, California, but because of travel difficulties and the potential health risk that we're all facing, we have decided to convene it virtually from the comfort of our homes and offices. This is only one of the many impacts that COVID-19 has had on virtually every part of everyday life and academic research as well. And in these difficult times, governments, businesses, and people have looked up with great hope to medical researchers and doctors to learn how the latest findings in the field of medicine can potentially help us to alleviate the difficulties that we're facing as a society in order to try and return to a state of normality. This situation makes today's conference ever so important as it reveals how crucial it is to share and discuss state-of-the-art research in fields such as biological engineering, biomedical engineering, bioinformatics, the science of medicine, as well as clinical and public health. For all our participants, the conference today can serve as a platform to share our latest findings, receive valuable feedback, and also learn from world-leading scholars in the fields that we mentioned. The lineup of speakers we'll hear from is truly excellent, and it's my great pleasure to briefly introduce some of their key achievements as well as their topics for today. First, we welcome Dr. Stephen M. Lipkin, who serves as the Gladys and Roland Harriman Professor of Medicine at the Joan and Samford I. Weill Department of Medicine, which is the Biomedical Research Unit and Medical School of Cornell University. He is also director of the Weill Cornell Medical College Genetics Clinic, where he has previously practiced as a clinical geneticist, and he has supervised genetic counselors in the departments of medicine and genetic medicine. He has also served as a director of many programs. As a physician scientist, Dr. Lipkin has published in many well-cited journals, including uh, Cell, Cell Stem uh, Research, Nature Biotechnology, and Nature Genetics. He is well known for making a number of breakthrough findings throughout his career. Today, he will speak on one of his most recent areas of focus, which is helping to drive an international effort to develop and validate a cancer immunoprevention vaccine for the Lynch syndrome. 
Next, we welcome Dr. Matteo Pellegrini, who is a professor of molecular, cell, and developmental biology at UCLA. In addition to his academic work, Professor Pellegrini has also co-founded a startup company and he has worked for the pharmaceutical company Merck. His Lab research centers on the development of novel computational approaches to analyze large-scale genomic data. Professor Pellegrini will um, speak to us about data produced using the latest generation of uh, high-throughput sequencers, which has produced new findings in fields such as the study of aging. And last but not least, I would also like to introduce to you Dr. Gary Royal, who is a professor of cancer therapy as well as head of cancer engineering at University College London. Initially developing technologies and methodologies for cancer diagnostics, he now leads a large team focusing on cancer therapies for both University College London and the UCL Hospital. His research has included radiation oncology, proton therapy, cancer technology, cancer imaging, as well as computational cancer research. He has published over 150 papers uh, and also leads multinational collaborations and networks in the field of cancer therapeutics. This is why we're very excited to hear him today share his research on the topic of predicting response to cancer treatment. We sincerely thank both our keynote speakers and our participants who are with us today for uh, showing great enthusiasm and for coming together to discuss their latest research. We hope that this conference will provide all of you with an excellent opportunity to learn from each other in the pursuit of developing your work. The number of scholars who have contacted us to express interest in the conference has been truly overwhelming and we deeply appreciate your interest and support in what we do. This is indeed a testament to the key role of such discussions as they can lead us to a path of making positive impact on a global scale. We look forward to holding IC Biomed again next year and hopefully for many more years to come. We wish you the very best and please enjoy the conference.